Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be working on needle felting. I have never tried needle felting before so I'm really excited to give this a go. If you are new to my channel, my name is Gemma, I create weekly art content, I do lots of paintings and drawings on my channel and also I like to review different products so if that sounds like something you would enjoy make sure you subscribe. I've got loads of different colours ready for my needle felting. These are some of the colours that I have got and I just think that it's so much fun and it's just so comforting and cosy. So let's get straight into this video. So first up I get a piece of foam and a piece of felt and my needles in preparation for my needle felting and then I loosen up some of the fibres of my wool. Once I'm ready I can then start layering my base down and I just work that felt a little bit further just to make sure it's nice and loose across my base. And I'm layering this up and just placing it in to make a really rough landscape image to start with and then I go straight in with my needle and I just pierce that into the foam. If you're a fan of processes within art then I think you'll really enjoy needle felting. It's really satisfying to see the felt fibres being really loose and then being pushed into the sponge and then actually becoming a of artwork. So I'm working on a landscape in preparation for adding Totoro. I decided to use that character for today's drawing. So I just stabbed myself in the finger. Be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you are careful when you are needle felting because <laughs> it really hurts. So I'm now just adding in another layer of my felt before I then go in again and press that all down with my needle and this is just adding to my background. I will probably need to add further layers on top of this, however I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking so far. It is looking like a painting which I'm really pleased with. It's kind of starting to look a bit like an impressionist painter because I'm adding in different colours within the sky which is giving it that sort of painterly effect which I really actually quite like. I'm now going to start working on the foreground of my image and I'm going to be building up the tree and I'm just using a brown fibre for this and I'm creating the trunk and also a branch coming off and I'm going to just use my needle again to press that into the base so that it all binds together. This motion is what actually binds the felt together so all of those fibres are now knitting together and they are creating a bond on top of the original piece of felt that I laid down and so it's going to be really sturdy when I come to remove this away from the foam and it's going to make sure that none of the fibres actually fall out of my piece. So I'm also adding in some darker layers of brown to give the impression that there's a darker shadow underneath and then I work on a few more details within that tree. And I then add in some leaves coming off of some of the tree and also darken up some of the leaves on the top part of the tree just to give it a bit more definition so that it looks more realistic. I'm also adding in some strips of browns and greens along the bottom here for the reeds next to the pool of water and I'm using a variety of different tones to make it look more realistic before then adding in the tops of those reeds in. And then once I have created those reeds I then go in and a bit more detail to the water and I add in lighter blue and a darker blue just to make sure that it looks as realistic as possible so that that light looks like it's hitting the water. 
Now time to add Tortoro in and I'm going to add Tortoro sitting on the branch here and because I can't actually draw this out with a pencil beforehand I'm having to just go in and trust where I'm placing my felt which can seem a little bit daunting but at the same time it's quite fun just using my instincts and at the moment it just kind of looks a bit like a weird owl sitting on <laughs> on the branch um not quite how i expected it to go but i suppose that's one of the things about needle felting is that it's not 100 percent accurate especially on your very first go so really do experiment with it and just play about with the medium to see what you like and what you dislike about it and now that i have added the facial features totoro is starting to take shape now for one of the most fun parts of the needle felting is actually removing the felt from the sponge. I just, it's just so, so much fun. Okay, so there you have it. That was my needle felting video. And obviously I'm not a needle felter, um, but for my very first try, I really did enjoy this. I think that given practice, I can definitely get better at it. I liked how the overall effect was quite impressionistic. So it had some sort of like painterly qualities to it. So I could definitely, definitely see myself giving this another try. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try out needle felting because I'd really like to see what you come up with. I really like doing the background for the piece. So that landscape for the, the overall character, I really enjoyed that. And I think that will be something that I try again in the future. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.